so we're going to do a little uh, optimizing on our page. Um, so hopefully when people search using keywords that our page will be one of the first ones displayed rather than one of the last ones to display. And there's a couple things you can do when you're designing your, your page to help ensure that it kind of floats to the top. Um, the first is to put in meta tags uh, with a description and keywords. So we're going to go ahead and add those to home. And I'm going to pause while I type these in. So you can see how they're kind of set up. They go in between the opening and closing head. Uh, you've got the name is description, uh, content. This would be what is described. Then you've got your keywords. And probably adding Zen to that would be smart. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, and then for images, Ideally, the name of the image would have your branding in it, uh, but definitely your alt text should. So for the first one, we've got the word spa in the name of the image, and then alt in the alt text, it says Zen Spa, which is good. For the next image, there's nothing about the Zen Spa. Okay, so we're going to come over to the alt text and we're going to put Zen Spa candles right in there. And then we're gonna come down here and look at the aside section. And for the first one, we have Zen Spa, which is awesome. Got that in the name and alt. And then the second one, we don't have it in there. So we're gonna to add to the alt text, Zen Spa Waterfall. Um, also in your heading, especially your H1 tags, trying to get your branding in there uh, is really important. So we've got Zen Garden, Garden Spa and Resort, that's right in our H1. Um, the more you can do that, the better, uh, because it's more likely that your page will display near the top of the search list rather than the bottom. So these little image uh, changes that we made, we do want to make those to all of our pages because they're all kind of the same. So all I'm gonna do is copy and paste. So we did this one. So it was my alt text that I changed. So let me control C that. Very carefully highlighting here so that I don't squash something that I need. So I'm just pressing Control and V to paste. And we'll go back over here. The other one we did was adding Zen Spa to Waterfall. So let me do this one. Just copying and pasting. Oh, I don't think we have it in this one. We don't have the aside in our treatment detail, so we don't have to worry about that one. There we go. Let's save all here. And then for treatments, we're gonna have a little different uh, description and keywords, and for packages, they're also going to be a little bit different. So we're going to go into treatments. No, we are in treatments. And I'm going to pause while I put in the meta tags, because they're going to be a little different than we put into the home page. So treatments and treatment details has the same meta tags. So what I did was I added them to treatments. And you can see it's the same description and keyword metas. And then I copied them and I pasted them over here in my uh, treatment details. Packages is going to have a little different set of metas. So I'm going to pause while I add those in. Okay, so I've added the one for the packages. 
And then finally, my contact is going to be very similar to what I had in my uh, home. In fact, they're the same. So I'm going to go ahead and copy what I had over here in home. And we're going to add that in to contact. So at this point, I'm going to save everything. And then I'm going to still view these pages just to make sure I didn't make any inadvertent errors. And we'll start here. Just making sure that they all still look okay. Okay, so that all looks pretty good. Uh, if you have errors, you do need to correct them, but otherwise uh, that is pretty much all you needed to do for Zen Spock.